What's good? Team Exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content today, of course, as you know, running theme on this channel. Uh, 6pm, 21st of December, we have some new SPCs and so of course the new player SPC. It's a Leipzig player today. I do know who it's going to be, uh, mainly because I kind of support it for myself and saw it on, um, on Footbin. But either way, I'm gonna first, um, for this one we're going to have a few packs as well, we're going to complete squad battles. Thing. I got gold one, which is a bit of a shame, it just knocked me down from elite. But I got some packs there, I might get something half decent in there. God, it was so boring playing those. But yeah, today we've got Conrad Lamer, Leipzig right back. Um, interesting player, interesting, interesting player because I want to compare him in a second to um, the right back, I can't remember his name. Mukiel, was it? Right back for Leipzig, uh, who was an objective player. Very similar card, so I'm going to compare those, see, see what kind of difference is, because this one is coming in at currently 150,000 coins, or just under, if you're on Xbox and PlayStation, uh, but averaging about 150,000 coins. And for an 85 right back, he's very good. He looks really good. Like, three star, three star, medium high, he's defensive, you know, five foot 11, which is quite nice. Um, Hasn't got any traits, but he's got really good pace, 91 pace. Um, shooting's actually not bad for a, for a right back. Passing's good, really good as well. Um, dribbling's nice, defense is nice, or defending is nice, and physicals are very, very nice as well. 92 aggression, 92 stamina. Uh, so it's a very good looking card, but is it is it worth 150,000 coins? Is kind of the point, and it's two, two squads from 83 and 85, yeah. So no, uh, no team of the week, which is quite nice, but still coming in at 150,000 coins. So I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. It's a good card, but if you've got the Mukiel, then uh, this is pretty much pointless. Uh, but if you're in need of a really good right back for the Bundesliga, it's good. Uh, it's a good looking card, to be fair. It's a good looking card, but would um would it actually make it make it into most people's teams? Which is is the question. And I um I don't know. I don't know, it's a good card, but yeah, it might be slightly too expensive. Um, so let's have a look what else we've got in live. If there's any new, any new SBCs. Um, so, Breeze Challenge today, we've got a Prime Gold Players Pack, which is quite nice. Um, it's always quite nice to see. Still got the Adama double upgrade. Looks like that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll uh, do the Freeze Challenge as per. So what you have to do to complete this one, 78 rated squad, one rare, two from minimum two from the same nation, maximum five from one club, nationality is minimum seven. That's very easy, probably just a, a one league team by the looks of it. So again, uh, as per, I'm pretty, pretty sure you're pretty used to this, but uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and complete this squad and I'll be back in two seconds. Cool, okay, so um, there we go. Um, actually, not very difficult at all. Um, seven nationalities is not very difficult to get in. And then you can use quite a few strong links as I've done here with the uh, Italians and then just um, Liga Santander players. So very, very simple stuff. And there we are. So there is our SPC day of the week. Number number 11, I believe it is today. Number 11, or it might be number 10. I actually don't know. I'm not keeping, not keeping track of these. Um, a nice dynamic image to be fair, Adama has. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look at Lamer in a second. Um, we're going to have a quick look in objectives. See if there's anything new and exciting in there. Of course, still Freeze Voland. Silver Stars, Balassi, Real Madrid fourth kit, which we've been over a few times. Uh, nothing else I can see. Milestones, we have nothing new. Still Silver Sensation in store. Uh, how's our teams doing? 10 days left. It's a bit long, isn't it? It's a bit long. Rewards are really pointless for the teams. They need to... They, they were going... Uh, when they announced they were going to introduce it, it was uh, it was a really exciting thing, but they've just kind of, kind of just shat the bed on it. But uh, either way, there's that. That's pretty much everything in store for today. Um, so, yeah, of course, promo packs. But we're going to jump through these, see if we get... Um, See if we get anything quite nice. It'd be nice to get one of the Road to the Final players that isn't Tadic. Would be very nice as well, but uh, chances are, probably won't. Probably won't, but who knows. Who knows? We've got Kenny Lala. That's pretty cool. Doesn't go for anything, unfortunately, but uh, you can see what kind of boost he's had. Obviously, I didn't show it last time in the last video, but uh, he's had a mad pace boost, which is uh, it's good. It's really good to see that EA are boosting players that 
are somewhat unusable. I wouldn't say unusable, but you know, less used than um, other players. Um, it's good to see, really. It's good to see. You know, making more obscure players more usable. Um, so cannot complain at that at all. Got a pre-order pack, which is very cool. Again, I think it was. Did I get Lewandowski out of these? I may have. I can't remember to be honest. Can't remember. We've got a boards. It's always good to see Spanish. CM. It's going to be. Was that Lorente or was that Saul? Oh, it's Coke. Let's go. That's pretty decent. 85 out of the uh, free pre-order packs. Get a sweet 15,000 coins. Of course, get Tierney. Um, best left back in the prep. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Um, we are not going to talk about Arsenal. It's depressing. Anyway, next, uh, next pre-order pack. Come on. Show us the walkout. Show us the walkout. It's not a walkout. Snowboards, wow, depressing. Depressing. Get messed at Hustle, Jesus. Just throwing all the Arsenal players my way. It's not uh, it's not something I want to see. If you have cool. Okay. Cool. Which one was the uh was it the premium? Or was it the prime? I don't actually know. Prime mixed players pack. Sometimes these dish out quite uh, quite nice players. Not often. Not often, not this time. Do get a boards again. We don't really care. We don't care. Who do we get? We get Castiles. Well, that's uh, that's definitely um, surprising. Never get Castiles out of a pack ever. Being an eighty-three, you never get Castiles. It's just Jesus. Come on, EA Sports. No walkout. Another boards though. Guess I can't be uh, too critical about getting boards, but uh, it's just goalkeepers, man. It's just fucking goalkeepers. <laughs> Get quite a few non-rares, I suppose, which is quite nice, but it's not what you want to see, is it? It's just not what you want to see. Come on, last pack today. No walkout, no boards. Wow, okay. So, uh, as you can see, here we are. We have got Lema on the screen. Big boy Lamer. So previous card got an 82. He's had a plus six pace boost. He's had uh, plus four on shooting, uh, plus five on passing, plus eight on physical, plus three on defending, and three on dribbling, which is very nice. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. Um, but yeah, so gone from CDM to a right back. Interesting position change. Interesting. It's um, I suppose adding a lot of competition to that Mukiel card, isn't it? Um, I don't know, it's just 150k, so it just it seems a little bit much for what he is for a right back. You know, right backs seem to be or or full backs like we had a Dharma the other day. It's just a lot. And uh, I wouldn't be paying like over 100 k or, or 150k for a right back in, in my team. I think there's plenty of other options out there um, that you can use in the right back. And uh, let's actually have a look at where are we similar? Let's have a quick look at similar players to to Lema. So we've got the Tavenia. Tavenia 84. How much is he going for? Pretty sure he was quite cheap, wasn't he? Where are we? So Tavenia 84. He's going for 24,000 coins. That's crazy. And this card is meant to be OP as uh, as Fook. So um, yeah, it really goes to show that there's uh, plenty of other options. So, like got 91, 81, 83, 85, 83. And he's got... 92, 84, 84, 87, 78. Like, uh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy how they price things. So, um, yeah. Let's see if there's any similar Bundesliga. Obviously, got Philip Lahm, Jao Cancelo, Golvin, got Bruno Perez. Um, there's no similar ones from the um, from the Bundesliga. So, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I actually want to have a quick look at right backs from the Bundesliga because I'm fairly sure there's other ones, isn't there? So, right back. We'll go with leagues, uh, top five, Bundesliga, right. So obviously got the Lema, there's the Mukiel, which I want to have a quick look at as well. Uh, Bender, Mu, Mu, Munir, Pavard, Arias. So there's not there's not a whole lot of standard ones, but the thing is you've got the likes of Kevin and Bamboo. Um, I'm not sure if De Costa is really up there anymore. So there's not a whole lot of choice. Not a whole lot of choice. Um, I think Vicer might be 
might be a very similar card, but we'll have a quick look at him. So Vice, yeah, he's just not uh, anywhere near, anywhere near the level. Uh, so Kevin in Bamboo, uh, again, is very OP. He's very good, um, and of course, he's not going to have quite the level of stats of of um, of uh, Lema, but like for a thousand coins, I and mean, like ugh, I don't know, he's so cheap and so good, especially at this this level in in the game. Uh, he he's such a good option. So even though there isn't that many right back options for the Bundesliga, I think there's still plenty of um, you know competition out there. But uh, we've got Mukiel here. So obviously he was the objective player. He's not around anymore, sadly. Uh, just uh, not in the game. But um, let's have a look how different or worse he is compared to his counterpart of Lema. So um, obviously. He's 84 rated, very similar. He's French, he's from the same club. Um, French being probably a little bit better to link than, what is that, Austrian? So there's not that many uh, many choices for Austrian links, but uh, similar pace, 89 to 91. Dribbling is much better on Mukiel. Defending a whole lot worse, but uh, what kind of difference in stats has he actually got? So interceptions is worse, heading accuracy worse by one, defensive awareness worse by quite a bit actually standing tackle better and slide tackle is better as well oh no it's the same as standing tackle sorry so stat wise they're not sorry my head's in the way wasn't it uh yeah they're not all that different i mean obviously interceptions is, is a lot better on lema but in the grand scheme of things it's probably not going to make that big a difference um so yeah not really uh not really too comparable same uh skill moves and weak foot he's got obviously less shooting not that it matters. Passing is quite considerably worse on Mukiel. Physical is pretty much the same. Um, so I think there's areas that are better and worse on um, on Mukiel compared to to Lema. Yeah, much better passing in all kind of areas. So uh, yeah, I'd say the big the big plus about this card is his passing. But um, compared to this one, you could easily just put a, like if we just stick a passing uh, boost on him, which would be where is it? Catalyst. We'll just stick that on for now. And not that he needs it, but what kind of boost does that give him? So that's uh, so that puts him up to 83, 81. Again, the thing is, like, it's not, it's not that different. It's not all that different. I know it's worse, but it's margins, it's margins. So I don't think it's going to make that much difference. But uh, yeah, so as a free card that you could have earned when Rule Breakers was was around, um, it's a good card, and it's a, it's a really nice card. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't think. The benefits you get from this one, the Lamer, is worth 150k in my opinion. I just think it's a little bit, it's a little bit excessive. It's a little bit excessive again from EA Sports. It just, um, it's baffling. It's baffling. It's again, it's one of those where he's got a really nice card, and I'm not cr discrediting that at all. And if you need a right back and you haven't got the Mukiel from um, the objectives, um, then sure, why not go for it? If you really want this guy, go for it. Why not? But I think you could easily just have. The same effect with Mbabu, uh, you know, or just take a left back who's really good and pull him at right back if you need to. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what their kind of aim is. Um, it's just it's just depressing really at this point because they're releasing all these really nice cards, but they're pricing them so wildly. Like, why can't this card be 100,000 coins and it'd be so much better? One squad, an 85, 100k or thereabouts, maybe 120 with an inform. Um, I just still think it's probably much. Yeah, if they'd had an 85 squad, 100k, you know, jobs are good and that would be so much better. I think 100k for this card is just um, probably verging on the point of where it's like, mm, do I do it or not? But I think if it was 100k, a lot more people would be interested. And as you can see here, people would like it for what it is. But obviously, there's a lot that don't, probably because of the pricing, I'd imagine. Um, just have a quick look, actually. Mukiel was free. Exactly, that's the thing. That is the thing. Uh, I've got, again, nothing's free in this game. Yeah, you have to put time. You spend time in this game, but like, um, um, that's all you have to do. You know, you get a free, really decent right back. Um, again, you know, there's the comparison. If I'm a right back for the people who didn't do the Mukiel, yeah, fair enough, I guess. If you didn't do the M Mukiel, uh, I guess it's not too far out of the question to get this one, but for me, it's just a bit expensive. If you need him or you like him, go for it. Why not? Have fun. It's a good looking card. It's a very good looking card. And you could probably actually play him in multiple different positions. Uh, not just right back. There's 
what is he? He's a 85 CDM, so you could always sub him on as a CDM. Right mid, he's quite good. Center, uh, center mid, he's quite good as well. So, uh, what kind of boost could you actually give him? That maybe shooting and passing, or just trying to think what um, shooting and dribbling, or not uh, passing and dribbling could be quite a good one. Not that he needs passing really. Um, that's quite a good one to be fair. Gets that. You know, 80 shooting and 90 dribbling, 91 physicals. Got real nice physicals now as well. Ball control, that kind of stuff is excellent. Shooting is actually very nice for 83, and that makes him a 86 CM, 87 right mid, cam. So you could play this guy in a lot of positions. So I think uh, for the versatility, maybe you might be worth doing, to be fair. Um, and that's actually quite tempting. So who knows? Again, a little bit expensive for me, but I don't think he's... Uh, He's too too terrible not to warrant that kind of price tag. Again, like I said, do him if you want him. If not, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Save your coins for somebody else who's going to be coming in the game. And uh, I keep I keep forgetting to do this, but we're going to have a quick look at who's actually coming next. I keep meaning to have a look before we end these episodes, um, and I keep forgetting. So, it decides to load for me, please. There we go. Okay, so tomorrow we have a French striker. Ooh, very interesting. So there's a lot of players that could be. Um, I think it's been speculated of like uh, Saint Maximin. We've got Dembele from Barca. There's a lot of players that could be like Sissoko. I don't think it'd be Sissoko. He's got a few cards like um, Road to the Final. Uh, I think Europa League, doesn't he? So don't think it'll be him, but it could be in Dombele. Um, could be a centre back in the way of like Laporte. Could be interesting would be actually really interesting to see like a, a laporte but i don't think it would be i think it's more likely to be a liga santander player just because we've got the whole liverpool but then again we've got two bundesliga next to each other so i, I actually don't know at this point it could could be anybody could be anybody it could be a Syria frenchman if there is any don't know but interesting choice we've got a wolfsburg player now i'm thinking that's probably most likely going to be in babu the player we've just been talking about at um at a position change maybe like a cdm cm maybe a cam could be quite interesting a cam in babu would be very very spicy um so yeah i don't know who else is from wolfsburg i really want them to put like a goalkeeper out outfield but i don't think they would do that because that would probably mess up the stats in some way or too complicated for their brains um yeah so my guess is that's going to be in babu striker french i don't know then we've got a liverpool cm now a few players that's if they put Trent there again, that's gonna be so dead. Um, could be Van Dyke, could be very interesting to see a Van Dyke boosted Van Dyke. That'd be so expensive though. Maybe Shakiri CM, uh, Firmino, maybe they might put down at CM. That's pretty pointless again, I suppose. It's not really that, uh, you know, you could always just put him back up to striker. So, um, left back Robertson, that could be quite interesting as well. Robertson CM. Don't know. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to come. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of really nice players on the way. I just really hope they keep the price down. Depending who's going to be, if it's a Saint Maximin tomorrow, then the price is going to go out the window completely, out the window. But uh, yeah, so very interesting players to come. Either way, that's going to complete today's episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Um, hopefully, you have enjoyed today's episode. I'm doing these every single day of the week, or trying to trying to do them as quickly as possible. Uh, for 6 p.m. get them up um, you know smartish Lee but uh, either way hopefully you have enjoyed um, if you have please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content or stay up to date on any content in the game um, in FIFA then do hit that subscribe button that'd be very very much appreciated of course I am trying to I've got a few series ideas and I want to kind of continue the series is that I'm doing already road to glory draft to glory I've got the Maradona one going I do want to kind of upload those through the day. So I am trying I'm trying my best to just having really, really shitty days lately and just uh, not getting much done. So um, I will try my best for tomorrow or day after. Try and get those up as well. If, uh, if you want to stick around for those, hit the subscribe button as well. If not, hit the subscribe button anyway, because why, why not? But uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And till tomorrow, we'll see you next time.